Hello, all you wonderful people. It's early in the morning and I'm getting out of my house because today at Expo City, the whole park, the whole, all the museums are free because 47 years ago, today was the day when the Expo started. They got the biggest museum in Japan at this place and it's free. Let's go. Oh yeah. Hey, how did you get here, Joseph? I don't know. Holy crap. I think a lot of people knew there was free today too. I said I wanted to come back here to see that museum that's the biggest museum in Japan, which I don't know if it really is the biggest, but it claims to be the biggest. But hey, I'm finally getting to go back in and see that Tower of the Sun. I, I made I made a kid cry. It's, it's okay. And there's the Tower of the Sun. Actually, inside there is a whole sculpture called the Tree of Life, but they don't want anyone inside it anymore. Now imagine about 47 years ago walking in here, but seeing concrete and escalators. And then you'd see the Tower of the Sun right over here, and there would be a roof. You wouldn't be able to see the top if you were directly under it. You had to walk upstairs and you could get right up close to that gold thing there. I sincerely wish I was around for the World Expo. I think it would have been really, really cool to see this place. And also there'd be a ton of pavilions from places from all around the world trying to show off the latest in technology and what they've got to show the world. Excuse me, actually, come here. There's a possibility. Yeah. I want to find that out. Ray Parker Jr. was here. Whoa, Ray Parker Jr. No, I'm sorry, Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> Ray Parker, yeah. he, he did the Ghostbusters yeah. theme, you know? He's really famous. It wasn't a thing in 1970. Yeah. Well, so maybe this is where they came up with it. Dan Aykroyd might have been here too. Who knows? <laughs> this is like the melting pot of ideas. <laughs> okay, just. It finally led to Ghostbusters. Because of Ray Parker. Huh. You ready to try this? Free Ray Parker. Try it. Well, it doesn't taste like milk. Yeah, it's like the stuff that's left after you finish boiling rice. Like if you had Fruit Loops or like sugary cereal and you ate the milk after it, that's what this tastes like. <laughs> Speaking of ideas just culminating in one place, they actually have a museum dedicated to the background of the expo. Let's go see that, it's free. Now you have to use a bigger imagination, but imagine just pavilions of different countries just surrounding you and the information people are like hey how you doing I'm from this country and everyone was smiling having a good time now it's just a nice little park <laughs> these are like the weirdest bicycles this is a Mad Max world of bikes what what is going wrong with this bike there's like a serious design flaw Oh, look out, we're on Main Street USA here, and here comes the old jalopy to come pick you up. Now this was actually used in the expo, and now it houses a museum about the expo. Shabam! Oh yeah, we're getting 70s in here. Oh yeah! Hey, how you doing? There's some of the insides of the Tree of Life. It goes from like dinosaurs to now. Look at this gentleman that's just wandered out. Hey, how's it going? Konnichiwa. Kabam. <laughs> nice hat. Man, the Tower of the Sun looked terrifying with its lights on and imposing with the structure surrounding it. It's like walking to Epcot, right? The uh, communicore in this creepy, Red hallway. <laughs> this was the Steel Pavilion and they had this space theater inside of it. It has this Journey to Mars feel if you're familiar with Disney. And it has the scariest like show. Experimental city, huh? Wow, 
This was the whole theme park section, which is now Expo City. They had one of the longest roller coasters in the world, only to be topped by Steel Dragon 2000. This was an operation until someone lost their life on the ride. Oh, here's the costumes that all the countries wore too. It's all uniformed and in line. Whoa. part of that tree of life. Oh, and the weird, creepy show is starting again. Do you think you'd be able to tell which nation was which nation, basically? No. no. We're all, oh, no. We we're all going to wear this in the future, right? We're going to have that kind of hat strap. I hope I have that hat strap. Interesting. Like, Red Riding Hood. <laughs> there you go. She went out shopping for her grandmother. She never came back. area that they had. It's like your highlights of behind the scenes of working at the expo. But an expo merch. That you can't buy no more. No you can't. Well unless you got a lot of money. <laughs> Here's a massive overview of just a skyline of what you would have seen. It's kind of a shame. We're here right now, and it would have been amazing to see all the other pavilions. Man, say it'll be. Here's the transformation into what the place is now. It's more green. Better for the environment, I guess. That's good. Whoa. This lake was created for the expo as well. That giant cube there used to drain down with liquid, just flowing down like a raining waterfall. Now swans and whales populate the area. If the front face of the Tower of the Sun is the face of life, the back side is the face of death. The back looks like it's just disappointed in you. They have some celebrities taking over this area and everyone's excited about food or celebrities, but this is one of the original stanchions from that giant thing that surrounded the Tower of the Sun at one point in time. It's like it's like a connector set, you know, it all comes together. And there it is. The biggest museum in Japan. Yeah, this place is huge. Here. You are the museum. <laughs> it's just, a, it's just a, a mirror here. Wow, that's interesting. Well, check out this old time organ that plays sheet music. Oh, oh man, they get this Roman esque bathhouse in here. Or something out of that movie, The Fall, or where Bane puts Batman. Hmm. What is this? This looks like sort of an Asian words of Gummage. I'm not familiar with it. Where's your Gummage? Maybe people should comment if they know what words of Gummage is. Well, these are all monsters. I know that's a monster in 
um, Japan that will bite your children's head off, but you have to be tricky and be able to get away from them. Yeah, hmm. Snakes out of his nose. Yeah, well, you know, they're going to come out somewhere. Might as well come out there. They've got these pods here that you can get in and select something and watch a movie. Oceana is starting this museum. Wow. Have you guys ever seen the movie Waterworld where the guy pees into a cup and then it turns into a machine? Well, this one's peeing right in the mouth of a pig. Listen, man, this is just gonna happen, okay? So this guy's got a bone that's a human that's sticking into like a, a phallic something. And then this woman's getting it from a child who is just, not just sucking, but like ripping it off. That's terrible, kid. Moderation. The one breast bigger than the other as well. Well, because she's, she's getting it ripped off by like a zombie child. Yeah, you can see the tear in the skin. <laughs> Old Australia. It's a rock painting of dreaming. Oh, I thought you, I thought you read Japanese and then, then I saw this English. There's that dingo, what ate that baby? Oh, Americas, there's two of them, but I'm more interested in the north part of it. Perhaps you'd like a whiff of my sniff tube. Oh, it's the village of the damned here. I wonder if this guy gets requests for Freebird. Wow, look at this amazing diorama for an Easter celebration here in the Mexican country of Mexico. That doesn't look like they're having a good time there, does it? Well, look at these animals here. Well, there's a really strange one right here. It's a Grumpus McGrumpus. Get off my rumpus. I think we're in your area here. This looks like Europe. I don't know why. Possibly. A famous Mexican baguette. <laughs> these scary monsters that are over here. Not to mention these scary monsters that have masks that are just frightening. This I'm is, sure they're supposed to be still the Austrian, um, Father Christmas. Really? He's supposed to be like a, a friendly, nice guy, right? He lets the children eat, take a bite out of the apple on the end of his stick if they're good. <laughs> and if they're not, he puts their heads in there and hits it with a stick. Are you, are you kidding yeah, me? I made all that up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh man, this is a beautiful nativity scene. And this is called, Who Put These Freaking Cows Here? Doesn't get much more cheerful than that. Here's one of the first movies ever made. Uh, the workers leaving the Lumiere's uh, studio, their offices, their factory. It's amazing that this is what was the beginning of film. I'm Now I'm running back to film history here. I believe the Lumiere brothers came up with the camera and the idea of making a camera, a film. I'm not really too sure. Please, someone help me with that. Look at this sculpture from Africa. Everything's guns and chains and reclaimed metals from things that were used to restrain you. Even the birds are made of guns. It's the subtext here. Yeah, some definite subtext there. These South African shacks. Look at that, there's Will Smith. Keanu Reeves? Oh, Joseph, are you are you trying to order something over here? Yes, I, I'm getting coffee with mayonnaise. Um, and also a spaghetti and omelette. Oh. Hey. What are you doing tonight? I'm just going to be here. Oh, in Africa, drag racing has kind of a different meaning, huh? You know, the T-1000's looking pretty good. This is the Rosetta Stone, or at least a copy of the Rosetta Stone. Uh, the real one's in England. I believe Napoleon's troops found this, and it's the thing that connects hieroglyphics to ancient Greek. Speaking of translating languages, here's the little prince in over 180 different languages. And one more, if you look at the books, there's actually Braille on the books as well. I don't know much about Indian culture, but man, that's amazing.
where the wild things are? Hey, random stranger. How much do you like this museum? This much? This is what happens when you don't clip your nails, kids. Bizarre creature with real human feet. Ooh. Out of all these masks, I think this one needs the most dental work. Oh, wow. Check it out. It's death himself. Hey, hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Look at that. Is that Sagat from Street Fighter 2 right there? If you ever go to Thailand, tell me if you see him. He's got no hair and an eye patch. That's where the rest of the museum is, but it's closed. The biggest museum in Japan, even with the closed section, I don't know. But it was quite large. Was, was it the biggest, do you think? Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I, uh, Stephanie's. I think probably it was the biggest. Certainly the biggest museum I've ever been to. Oh. In, in Japan? Japan. Oh. But then again, <laughs> it's the only museum I've ever been to in Japan. <laughs> Apart from the World Expo Museum. Oh, so hey, that's that's a grand record of two. Oh yeah. Well, it's, I've been here for three weeks. What can you ask? <laughs> what can you ask me? And right over this way is a Japanese garden, just waiting to be seen. Are you guys Windows or Mac fans out there? Just out of curiosity. I think the Japanese garden actually opened with the park. This was not added on. I think this has been here since the 70s. Holy moly, that's a freaking river monster right there. You are a big boy. As nice as this park is, I only saw like about a quarter of it, but I want to go into the Expo City area where they used to have the entertainment and roller coaster area. My legs are getting tired. Oh, that's fair. That's that mainly why Scott's leaving now. Because uh, <laughs> I'm lazy. I was going to make an excuse, but that makes it even better. Yeah, let's go check out the uh, Expo City area. They also say that that's the biggest Ferris wheel in Japan, but hey, who's counting, right? I was just here a couple of weeks ago. And man, it's a lot busier than it was when I was here. It's a bit overwhelming, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. It's uh, too much to take in, all in, one, all in with two eyes. The battle continues against the static robots ever engaged in combat. Definitely bigger than the London Eye. For sure. For Rizzle, my nizzle. For Rizzle. Well, we've run out of ideas. Sandcastle with do. The Donald Trump. Uh, I'm gonna come back here one day. Today is not that day. It's an all-you-can-eat Tabby Hodai KFC. But Colonel Sanders getting molested by kids. Stew, pasta, salad, of course Kentucky Fried Chicken, bread, rice, ice cream, and soda. All for about 20 bucks. Enjoy your dog life. Thank you, dog department. Okay. Can't come here without seeing the animals here. Oh my god, they're so adorable. I feel a bit bad for these animals, but they are really, really cute. No house is complete without some deadly piranhas, right? Oh, 
What are you doing? That's crazy. Why, you, sir, you could own an owl. What would you do with an owl? I was partly amazed by what's in here, impressed, but partly quite sad at the same time, because some of these are really wild animals. There's a desert fox that shouldn't be in someone's home in Japan. I agree with you. Yeah, it should be in the desert. Whoa, they have manta rays, stingrays here, that's crazy. Oh, I'm exhausted. Actually being out of the sun, like spring is definitely here. It's getting warmer out and uh, the sun is definitely physically tiring. But I think I've seen enough Expo City and the former Expo 70 commemorative park. So I think it's time to go home and sleep well, as they say. Yeah, sleep well. Uh, so remember, you can do it. I can do it. We can all do it. You guys stay here. Have a wonderful day. And if you want to see more of Expo City, I did a whole video which might be blocking my face right now. And if it is, oh, geez, you can't see me. It's so beautiful. I mean, come on. What are you doing? I'm just going to keep on rambling until the video 